for the for a gotcha tutorial on how to do this for beginners you have to first make your OC now I recommend you go to this boba thingy here and then you press this button oh no you go to the bamboo thingy and then you press this button and go to fill in now you can make your head size as big or as small as you want and your height as big as small or, and or as small as you want i personally do it at nine and 19 making a gacha oc you can use whatever color you want and like just as long as you don't make it look like this okay now this will be your oc Oh, you can add adjustments as well. I forgot to say that. I like making the mouth small. Don't make your OC like this, please. I'm begging you. Um. Yes, normal. This this is definitely normal. Don't make your character like this, please don't. This is just terrifying. Anyways, you go to... Uh, studio. And you choose a background. You can literally choose any background you want. And since there are other backgrounds from Gacha Life, you can choose different ones. Make the Gacha Life was jealous. This is a joke. You can add tint to your backgrounds. You can add foreground to make it look rainy, snowy, blah 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 blah. And you can add tint to this as well. You can make black rain. You can change the scale of the background to big, to small. You can move the background like this, like this. You can move it like this and like this. You can character tint so if I put my character this this thing in the middle of the screen and then 
put character tint at for example 80 you can't see anything happen here but you have to t press tint all character tint all pets or tint all objects tint all characters for now at the bottom and then the character is darker now and I recommend you to take away the name so that it's not always in the way you go to this you can add any emoticon you can you want and you can remove it at zero you can make the name disappear like this or change the names um area and you can change the name color if you want to keep the name there and you see bubbles you might not know what bubbles are but it's for talking so oh i forgot how to do this you have to go here and then write something and then there's a bubble at the top of the head but don't use that you use narrator and put it on always at the bottom much better and then you can make the chat color a different color as well for the bubble and you can make the outline color a different color as well I'm doing it in bright color so that you can see. But this is why I recommend you to use the narrator on this side of the screen. Because you can see it and your character can be big. So for example, you can do this. can change the bubble color of the narrator as well like this and then your character will be viewed from a bigger version while doing this instead of having said the stuff and then having to make it very, 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 very small. It's better to hide the name so that it's not in the way also. Because in real life, you don't really see people with a name tag above their head. That doesn't really work. You can put it on view only so only if you press this i view button at the bottom left then you can see it or you can put it on always and then you can see it even when the view is on or you could just keep it off if you don't want them to say anything and then um oh can this is, this is how you can use these things. You can put props in their hands as well. Since he's an Uwu boy, he will use a gun. Because that's quirky. You can put effects, which I don't recommend because then they just get in the way. But they're technically like background things like this and you can change the color of them as well the tint you can change the tint of them here and you can change the tint of your character up here With the props, you can move it with these. 
you can change the prop size with these and you can rotate it with these and then for effects you can do this I'm just gonna add wings so that you can see and a tail a tail make the wings smaller so that you can see and a cape this is what 2019 characters look like please anyways front hair you can make move with this button here you can make it move at any pace you want or you can make it stop you can also do that with back hair you can do that with wings you can make the wi wings move really slow or really fast or medium or none and you can make the cape move as well and so can you make the tail move the head <laughs> well, well you can make your character's head disappear other body parts you can also disappear for example You usually use this for tweening, which is like movements in there's many different like apps you can use for that. And then you can also put pets next to your character if you want them to be next to you at all times and you can change the color of these here. This. You can change the color and then yeah that's technically what you can do with gacha club and um you can change the pet's name i'm so quirky you guys you can rotate the pet with this button at the bottom right. You can change how tall or short they are. She looks stepped on. You can change how fat or thin they are. So technically they're um, X scale. You can change their position to see if they're in the front or at the back which it kind of looks like she's sniffing his butt right now you can change the pet shadow and you can change their tint here you can change the color of their tint as well you can also use this objects here as background objects for example in my background say i wanted a chair so that my poor ooh, potato chip boy over here could sit down um and eat pizza you can you can recolor these as well with this but these buttons on the side not all of the not all of the buttons work because there's not much for it to be changed. So this this could be literally any color, but it wouldn't change the pizza. And then you go to studio and go to objects on this side here. Wait, here. And then you get the chair that you just edited and make him sit in it. You can put it behind him or in front of him. And so can you do the with the pizza. You can put the pizza on the floor and you can put it behind him. You can change the size. You can flip it if you don't like how it looks already. You can change where 
in what position it is. For example, I'm putting it in the sky because that's normal. You can rotate it if you don't like how it's placed. And then ads. There, there are ads in Gacha Club. I know. You, you feel like that's illegal, eh? <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. You can use many different slots. And now I want to show you, I did not delete my character, my OC, I put my OC away. You see this button over here, this one that has a person and a class next to it? You press that button and then you can put your characters away. As you can see, and then your characters as well. And um, here in settings, you can put background music. That's very loud. You can put sound effects on. You can put quality on high or low if you want, but quality on high makes it makes it go slower. So I don't know why you would want to do that. You can. You can, um, yeah, technically that's all. Um, now let me give you a tutorial on how to make the characters move around. Because, um, there was literally no, no, helpful tutorials when I was starting out. Now, choose a background. I will go to the shopping mall because yes, my character will go here. Now, you will start it off with a standing position if you want it to be walking and take a screenshot and then you will go back to poses on this side of the screen let me show you with normal this side of the screen here and then press it and, pre and go this button at the top here where it says standing pose you press it and then we go to the walking positions, press this, one of the walking positions, this, like, a few, let's use the normal one, you use that, and then take a screenshot, and then you move it, and then it continues. You can make your character move in any different sort of way, but you usually use screenshots. Now, let me recommend you the apps that I use for doing this kind of stuff. You, you may think that you can just go to your gallery and go to screenshots and then do this but that's not gonna help you that's not gonna help you please ignore my Melanie Martinez pictures um no you don't do that so you download kind master or um cap cut and then you press new project, that's of course, and um, you take the screenshots and edit them. If you're doing a walking animation, it's better to do it short-timed, move them short 
like this on this thing and move them to make them short so that it looks like a normal person walking and it doesn't look like a slow slow walking you see that's how and then um, the frame rate and the resolution and then you can upload it or download it onto your gallery to make it into a video and then you can upload it onto YouTube if you wanted to and um, gotcha cup sometimes resets itself when you're not when when you come out of it really quickly and then it just gets rid of all your shopping mall stuff and then um, your character gets really angry I'm joking the characters don't get angry those glitch videos you see online are very fake and now onto the mouth you can make it move with these ones on page 12 and page 11. Now it looks like I'm actually talking. Yay! I made myself small to disappear. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and then you can make more OCs. And in the preset section, you can choose any different type of club you want. And then you can choose a preset. Now obviously it's not very original to use a preset as your main OC. So what I recommend you is that you can do this. If you want background characters of course. You can, you can do this. You can go to clothes copy and choose a clothing that you like from somewhere. And then you can choose hair copy, go to an absolute different club, and choose a hair. Yes, that's fine. And then choose copy color scheme and go somewhere else. And then you can copy color scheme. And now I know y'all are lazy, but you might as well just have to add the skin color. And that's how you make a background character easily. Not much, not much is needed to make a background character. You just need to like put adjustments to make it look original. Just a few adjustments won't hurt you. There we go. And simple. Now you see you might be thinking, what are what are those other things on the side here? The, these things are for zooming in and zooming out. This is to fully view the character on the page. In the middle, in the exact middle of the screen. This is to change the background of your character's normal place. Not this is not the studio, this is the background that you change for your character. And then you can as well play these gacha games, these battle games, training mode, do that and stuff. You can earn you diamonds and this stuff, but it doesn't really do much for you. And yeah you, that's that's how's it Zanti? if you don't 
and anyways um that's technically it so um goodbye